Hello. Today I'd like to read The Hungry Duckling by Claude Clement, illustrated by Marcel Dennis. What a warm spring we're having, said Mother Duck, fanning herself. Why don't you go for a swim to cool off, asked Mother Hen. I'll sit on your egg for you. I'm just waiting for my own to happen. Oh, thank you, cried Mother Duck. I'll be back soon. And so Mother Duck waddled to the pond for a short swim. And Mother Hen sat on her eggs. That's how a little duckling came to be born into a family of chicks. When Mother Hen saw that all the eggs had hatched, she taught the duckling and the chicks how to walk up and down the hen house ramp to stretch their tiny legs. What a funny waddle he has, said one little chick, pointing to the duckling. He must have been in his egg too long. No, said Mother Hen gently. He is a little duckling, not a hen chick like the rest of you. If you visit the duck pond, you will see that all the ducks waddle like that. <clears throat> when it was time to eat, Mother Hen showed her little ones tasty grains that was, was spread on the ground. The chicks pecked at it till they were full, but the little duckling's bill was too big and round to pick up the tiny bits of grain. I'm so hungry, he said to one of the chicks. Do you know what ducks eat? No, I don't, answered the duck. I guess I'll have to find out for myself, said the hungry duckling. He waddled down the path, searching for a good meal. The first creature the little duckling met was a round gray snail. I'm so hungry, said the little duckling. Do you know what ducks eat? No, I don't, said the snail, but I eat crunchy leaves. Try some. The hungry duckling tried to bite into the leaves with his flat bill, but he couldn't chew them. I guess ducks don't eat leaves, he sighed as he waddled further down the path. <coughs> <clears throat> Soon he met a frog. I'm so hungry, said the duckling to the frog. Do you know what ducks eat? No, I don't, said the frog, but I eat flies. Try one. With that, the frog shot out his long sticky tongue and caught a fly, swallowing it in one gulp. But the little duckling's tongue was too short to catch a fly. I guess ducks don't eat flies, he said, watching the frog bound across the wildflowers. <clears throat> Before long, the hungry duckling arrived at the pond. There was Mother Duck, just finishing her swim. My little duckling, quacked Mother Duck in surprise. You hatched early. It is such a hot day. Hop in the pond with me. I don't want to go swimming. I'm too hungry, said the little duckling. And before his mother could help him, he started to waddle away, looking for something to eat. At that moment, a little kingfisher who had been sitting on a nearby tree dove into the pond. You won't go in the pond, he teased. You're a chicken. No, I'm not. I'm a duck, said the little duckling proudly, and he dove in after him. The duckling watched as the kingfisher gobbled up the little minnows, worms, and tadpoles at the bottom of the pond. The little duckling's tummy began to growl, and he felt very, very hungry. Try some, called the kingfisher. <clears throat> so the little duckling tried some. This is delicious, he told the kingfisher. This must be what ducks eat. At the end of the day, the little duckling waddled back to the barnyard with his mother, full of food and ready for bed. I'm glad you're not a hungry duckling anymore, said Mother Duck. I'm a sleepy duckling now, yawned the duckling. Do you know where ducks sleep? Yes, I do, my little one, Mother Duck replied, tucking him under her warm wing. Good night. <clears throat> duck eggs must be kept very warm, so a mother duck can leave them only for a short period of time to eat or swim. Ducks love water. That's why they often make their homes alongside ponds and beaches. Thanks to their webbed feet, they are very good swimmers. Ducks have big flat beaks. 
At the edges of their beaks are ridges that filter the water they drink. Duckling has a funny way of walking. When he picks up his flat little feet, his tail wiggles from side to side. This helps him keep his balance. Duck feathers are covered with a fine layer of waterproof grease. These special feathers help ducks stay afloat so they can swim for long periods without getting tired. Ducks dive into the water to look for tadpoles, worms, and little fish that they love to eat. 